Well, if coronavirus travel restrictions have you confused, it's understandable, and in some cases, being updated regularly. As Local 22's Nick Anastasi reports, it really depends on where you live and where you may want to go. Governor Andrew Cuomo announced yesterday in a joint press conference with governors from neighboring New Jersey and Connecticut that a travel advisory requiring individuals traveling from states with high community spread of COVID to quarantine for two weeks. Governor Cuomo says they don't want to lose all of the progress made over the past few weeks. It's only for the simple reason that uh, we worked very hard to get the tra viral transmission rate down. We don't want to see it go up because a lot of people come into this region and they could literally bring the infection with them. It wouldn't be malicious or malevolent, but it would still be real. States such as Florida, Texas, Arizona, and Utah where the positive test rate is higher than 10% of residents over a rolling seven-day period are subject to the 14-day quarantine. So far, there are nine states on the list, something that the New York Department of Health says it will update regularly. However, across the lake, Governor Phil Scott is expected to ease travel restrictions in the Green Mountain State for those in the New England area. They're coming from counties and other states with low case counts. On Friday, we expect to expand the number of states that are within driving distance of Vermont and can meet these trusted travel thresholds. Governor Scott says it's important to get the tourism industry up and running again, but in a safe way. Nick Anastasi, Local 22 News.